Hello everyone. Today we will solve the problem minimum number of coins for fruits from the biweekly contest 118. So before coming into the problem I think you must have tried it and then only you come to this video tutorial. So without wasting any further time let's understand the problem statement. So think you are in a you are in a fruit market and with a, there are different type of exotic fruits are displayed apple banana and so many fruits. I don't know what is exotic means. I am sorry. You are given one indexed array pieces where pieces of I denotes the number of coins needed to purchase the ith fruit. He will give the different array like 3, 4, 5, 6 and he is saying that if every index if it is 3 if the value is 3 then we need to give 3 coins to take that fruit. If you purchase the ith fruit at price of j coins you can get the next i fruits for free suppose you we have indexes 0 1 2 3 4 and your prices as 5 3 2 1 suppose you are purchasing at index 1 at index 1 so it is one based index so we will everything will be incremented by 1 i think you understood we our array index starts from 0 but he is saying that one index so this will be my 2 now suppose you are giving 3 rupees 3 rupees he will get the power of 2 so you can skip the next two next two fruits you can skip the next two fruits note and that if you can take fruit j for free you can still purchase it for price of j coins to receive a new offer so he is saying that suppose i am taking one uh, it one index fruit and i am skipping 2 and 3 and i am taking directly 4 you can do this or else or else you can come here you, you can come here and you can pay two units of money two units of money and you can skip three you can skip three fruits suppose we have index as here five you can skip three four five or else you can come here this is my index three so you can skip four so four five six seven you can skip this and you can directly reach to eight so he's saying that this bonus is available so let's take this example and let's understand it so he is saying that 312 you can acquire the fruits as follows purchase the first fruit with 3 coins you have purchased with 3 coins you are allowed to take the second fruit for free second fruit for free but he is saying that he want to take minimum number of coins that's why he is taking the second that's why he is taking the, if he is not taking the second then he is to take the third fruit so it will be 3 plus 2 5 3 plus 1 it is 4 which is optimal 4 is optimal so he is taking the second fruit and is skipping the third fruit now let's take this example 1 10 1 1 so you can acquire the fruits as follows he is taking it the first 1 plus he is skipping 10 coins I shall I pay 10 coins for that no I will skip it then he is taking here 1 and he can skip if it is taking a third like 0 1 2 it is 1 based index so we will increase 1 to every index so I will say it as 3 3 numbers you can skip so i think you understood it and here you are given the length as 10 power 3 so if you are like intermediate in the programming or you are doing lead code from the couple of months then you can think if it is given 10 power 3 then this is definitely a dp problem dp problem you should not come like that you should fail the dp and then you can come to this but but by seeing the constraints you can think about dp because in interview you will have 45 minutes of time and in coding contest you need to think very quick so here if you just visualize the things you will fail the greedy you can fail the greedy pretty fast suppose if you're taking this 3 1 you can take if you are taking 1 it is taking 4 if you are skipping it it is going for 5 so definitely greedy will fail continuous flow will break so definitely it will be a dp problem first we will see the First, we like uh, I will start with few things. I will say S as my start. S will be my start. P is my power. So how much power I have? Power means how many fruits I can skip. I can skip. So here, this is my S and this is my power. You are at index 0, 0. At index 0, 0, you, should, you don't have any power. If you don't have any power, so V of 0, I am adding that coin plus F of 1 1 so you are going to your next your index is at 1 you should start from 1 and your power 1 your power 1 okay then we have two scenarios 
I can skip one. I can skip one. Yes, you can definitely. So now suppose zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Consider this as array. Now you are it. You start. You completed from here, and you have reached here. You have reached here at one. I am saying that I I will go for two. Hmm. I will skip one. I will skip one, and I will directly go for two by taking power zero. Yes, you can go to two with a power of zero. Yes, I can skip one and he is going directly two. Or else, or else, he can take one. He is taking one. We have one and he is increasing increasing his power. F of two comma two because here he is at the second index, so he can increase his power by two. Yes, I can increase my power now at this index. Here two possibilities. Now I use I now you are at two. Now I can skip two and three. Yes, you can definitely skip two and three because you have purchased this. You can skip, uh, you can skip this two and this three, and directly I can reach to four. Yes, you can reach four, but your power will be eliminated. Your power will be zero. Yes, my power will be zero because I did not use anywhere. So here my power will start fresh. My power or else or else, if you are at two two, I can go to two or else I can go to three. And from here, I can calculate the minimums. Yes, you can do that. If you are going to two, I am taking price of two v of two comma two, and I am incrementing my power to three ki three. And if you are taking three, I am skipping two. You can skip two, and you can come to three. If you are skipping three, then my power will be zero. So I think you understood these three scenarios. Now, if you are at three v of three, plus my power is increasing by four f of four comma four from the four. You will see the same flow as we are going. Now, if you see, this is my overlapping sub problems. These are my overlapping sub problems. Yes, DP plus memo definitely it gonna work. Okay, let's see. Let's see the let's see the scenarios. If my power is zero, as we seen here, if my power is zero, directly we are taking V of i, V of i, and we are incrementing solve s plus one, and my power will be also same. If you see. My start and the power will be same when we are directly jumping. When we are directly jumping by taking this value, by taking this value. Or else, or else, if if you see here, or else if we are directly jumping, if we are directly coming here, like from here directly you are jumping, it index to your power will be zero. Uh, sorry, I did not wrote here. You can see here. Answer equals to s plus power v comma my power will be zero, and uh, I will explain you that scenario. I'm sorry for that. I did not uh, return here. Then we will loop from s to s plus p minus one. Suppose here you you are s is two, s is equals to two. You will go till two plus two minus one. That means two and three. You will go to two and three in the same way. If it is four to Seven. You can go to four to seven in that. Now we will see the coding part. See, uh, we will see the coding part for better understand. What will be my, uh, in the coding? We are taking a zero as my start, and my initially my power will be zero. I will zoom for, so that you can see the coding part. Zero zero, and we are calculating the size. If my power is zero, as we have seen, if my power is zero, if my power is zero, we are Uh, taking the price, we are taking the price, and we are incrementing the start, and we are incrementing the power. Power and start will be same. Or else, we are direct. If we are directly jumping, s plus power, I can directly jump. I will consume this power and di directly jump to two s plus power. I will directly jump. Mm, yeah. Where is this? I can directly jump with my power zero. My power will be eliminated. Or else. I is equals to s. I less than or equals to s plus power minus one. S plus power minus one can go out of bounds, so I am taking n minus one. Minimum of both of these till n minus one only I can go. So here v of i plus solve of i plus one, my my power will be same. If you are at index four, my power will be four. At index five, my power will be five. And in that we are calculating the minimums and dp of here, and we are retaining the minimum. And we have used memo. dp we have declared and we have used a mem set to initialize all values to minus 1 and we are assigning to the dp and if it is minus 1 and we are returning it so the time complexity uh, like exactly 
uh, i couldn't able to figure it out and in the solution in the description i will give the solution so there you can go and click so that i can update that and one more request guys please do upvote upvote the solution in the lead code so if you see this explain uh, if you see this uh, hardly the time complexity will be n square as i am thinking now my space will be same n square because we are using dp of both of this so i hope i hope you understood it if you didn't understood please do watch the video again from from where i started this explanation so that you can understand in better possible try to visualize the things so that in dp it's mainly visualizations so i want to take it i want to quit i want to take it Mo mostly that will be this is like a uh, some sort of version of a zero one naps of where i should consider i should not consider so if you understood this solution please please do like and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching jai hind jai bharat